this May 24th meeting of the Montpelier Planning Commission. Uh, first thing we have to do is approve the agenda. Let's approve the agenda. All right, let's approve the agenda. Um, those I'll in favor of approving? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. That's still the clumsiest step for me. Uh, comments from the chair. I do have a few things. So the first thing is just a call for, and I wish everyone was here for this particular thing. Um, let's try to wrap up the working group work in the next you know month or so. Um, I know that I'm on economic development. And we have not met because it was a chapter that was going to come later, but I've seen that Mike has put some things on the drive for that. So um, we'll try to meet with that group, hopefully just do it one time to do a once over of the aspirations and goals and, and be done with that. But It'll be one, looks, excuse me, one time? Um, it'd be nice, but I mean, of course we can play it by ear, but- Okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Considering how many times we've met for transportation and housing, it seems unlikely. That might be true. That I'm be sorry. True. But I'm, the my, my point, though, is um, let's finish. Yes. So we can move on. Um, so, yeah, again, everyone try to meet with your respective groups and, and get down. Uh, the second thing is that the, so all of the um, commission and committee chairs were invited to um, this meeting put on by CJAC, which is the uh, Social and Economic Justice Advisory Commission. I think it's a commission uh, for the city. So this is, this is an organization, I guess, or a, you know, part of the city that's existed for a couple of years now that is trying to look at equity issues. They were the folks behind the equity survey and, uh, and similar work that's being done. Uh, there were a few things that came out of that. And I brought up in that meeting, I, I brought up the city plan quite a bit and tried to invite everyone to reach out to us if they have ideas for strategies for um, equity for the city plan. And I gave them my email. Um, I also agreed to meet with uh, CJAC and I'll probably do that in the next month or two. And Mike, if you have interest in, in wanting to come along for that, let me know. My understanding is they meet on Wednesday mornings, which is just like not the greatest, but that's when they meet. Uh, so, as we get more chapters together, I think bringing the chapters that are most likely to connect with equity issues and social justice issues like housing, um, uh, maybe some of the big ones like economic development, transportation, um, and bring those chapters to them. I mean, this is just my idea because um, they just kind of gave me an open invite, but I was thinking of bringing those chapters with the goals and aspirations and then asking them for, like their ideas for strategies to to add equity to each of those areas. Uh, Kirby, oh sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, I would be interested in joining too. If if I mean, I don't want to. If it's just you know, I don't want to crowd or be inefficient or anything. But I would be interested in that. If if you're interested in having someone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll let everyone know. Uh, when I get in touch with, I think Jeremy is the chair. Um, when I get in touch with him and, and get a date, I'll let everybody know when that's going to happen. Um, yeah, it, it's an interesting group. It's, it's definitely an interesting group. Um, and, you know, we're focused, a lot of us are on here on the planning commission are focused on action. I want to make sure that the thoughts and things that are taking place turn into action when it comes to this stuff. Um, which leads me to some other thoughts I had from that meeting. For one thing, before that meeting, I had some guilt that 
we it, with the historic preservation chapter we kind of let it go that we're not touching on any kind of history not involving Europeans basically um, so I think and, I, and Eric Gilbertson was at that meeting and I brought it up with him and he seemed uh, to welcome the inclusion of a strategy maybe like having a goal related to uh, you know we'll, we'll figure out the wording later but related to this area and having a strategy under that uh, about seeking a CLG grant to summarize the archaeological resources. I mean, that was one that we really thought about including anyway. But that would be, we, we already have in there strategies related to learning more about the historic preservation of buildings built by, you know, white people. But um, let's have some information gathering related to, old, you know, an earlier time. And also, I'd be interested in trying to include something that's that's also more active in recognizing the history too. Um, and we talked about ways to do that, whether it be a marker. Um, one thing that came out from Eric, he he thought of, uh, he suggested reaching out to the Native American Affairs Commission to see what their thoughts are about what we could do in that area. So I'll probably do that. Send an email out. Um, and see what ideas we get back there. Some of the strategies that, that we could add might um, involve working with the state on something because they do have more control over that. But just, uh, you know, just making our thoughts about equity and, and inclusiveness, you know, better. Because I, I had a lot of guilt that we put it aside because we were afraid that it, we didn't have the bandwidth. But that's kind of like a classic thing you do with issues that you're not that you say that you're interested in doing but then you're clear like through your actions you're showing that you're not interested uh so i just don't want to that be that you know so that so that's that area another thing that came up in the meeting was um uh, the public arts commission chair was there and we brought up i brought up equity issues with him and we're still hoping to do an arts and culture chapter for the plan and he mentioned, uh, his name's Bob, mentioned um, making sure that, that artists that are commissioned by the city have, a, have diverse backgrounds. Uh, so, and hopefully we have public art and other art that's welcoming to all groups. Uh, and part of that can be through making sure the artists have a diverse background. So that's that's something to keep in mind. That I hope to reach out to him more um, when it comes to the art chapter though. Um, anybody have any more questions about that? Uh, oh, if you don't, then uh, there was one more thing here. It, one issue that came up was involving youth. I think that's something we can think about with the city plan. That's a, in its own way, a, a, an equity thing. Um, if we can think about those, uh, Think about that when we're coming up with strategies. Um, we already have the the kind of informal program where high school, and middle school students are on the city commissions and things, which we haven't had one since COVID. But um, there could be other ways, maybe. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Anybody have anything to say about that? I was wondering if uh land acknowledgement came up at all in the first part of what you're talking about um can you elaborate um like adding a land acknowledgement to the city plan acknowledging that montpelier sits on abenaki traditional territory um i don't i don't remember that I, Something like that might have come up in another context, but but not for the city plan. Um, I, I would be happy if we include that at the beginning of the plan. If you reach out to the, the VCA uh, and AA, they, that may or may not come up. Okay. Yeah. Have we uh, ever, ha, and then involving youth, I kind of like that. Well, I do like that idea. I'm just wondering if we've done it before. <laughs> what kind of capacity do we have? <laughs> 
especially during the summer? <laughs> or do, would that be something later when we have kind of more of a thing for people to look at? Good question. I mean, I was thinking about if, where it makes sense to include a strategy here and there to involve youth and things. Um, that's what I was thinking, but, but as far as us having like a youth member on the planning commission, uh, I guess we'll have to wait until that program gets going again, uh, which is, I'm guessing when we start having in-person meetings again. Um, was there another part to your question? Okay. Uh, so. I think I think that's it for the for the that group. Um, I mean, I guess I don't know, the, 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 my takeaways from the CJAC meeting were you know, people are coming from different places apparently. I mean, there were some people who were chairs who said that they never thought about this before, which I think is a little like eye opening. Um, but I think it's all the more reason for us to be active and trying to include it. Okay. So the next thing on the agenda is general uh, business. Um, I don't believe we have anyone from the public. We do not. So we can move on to consider the minutes from May 10. And I know Barb identified one error on the minutes that threw her off when she looked at it. Do you want to tell them? Well, I wasn't there, but I was just trying to to figure out what happened. And, and it looked to me, it says review and approve energy plan aspirations and goals vote. It looked to me like you had, had uh, voted on the energy plan aspirations and goals and approved them. Um, Mike said that wasn't the case. So something is awry on that section yeah i think mike mike knows what we need to do to clarify it so that instead of saying energy plan there it should have said the historic preservation chapter yeah um tam must have populated it under the wrong headers she puts the headers in from the from the agenda and so things kind of got out of order so the first header should be historic preservation implementation strategy and the discussion under there was about what was in the uh, implementation strategy, not the chapter. So we would strike chapter and out of there. And then the next header says review and approve energy plan and it should say review and approve the historic resources chapter. And then I think it's correct. Okay, thanks Mike. Uh, so if everybody can take a look at like if see if there's any more changes we want to make, but we'll plan to move to make those changes that Mike just laid out. I'll move to approve the minutes with the changes outlined by Mike. Okay. Do we have a second? No second it. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. Those in favor of uh, approving the minutes with the changes, say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, minutes approved. And so uh, we next have uh, a review of the energy plan aspiration and goals, also known as the implementation strategies. Uh, Mike, uh, do you want to take it away? Hey, real, quick, real quick before we start, is anybody else having trouble getting into the, into the Google Drive? Because I, I am. Is it just me? I'm, I'm yeah. currently in it. I'm, I'm fine, but I uh, wonder if, I wonder if there's a limit on how many people can be in it. I don't know. No, it's probably just me. I'll keep plugging away. Thanks. All right. Well, I will, um, share my Green here. And energy. Um, before we jump in, I just wanted to go through. So real quick, what I've done for. Um, so we finished historic. What I've done for the other chapters. So um, parks energy, housing, natural resources, and transportation. Let me just jump back one. I'll just grab transportation just for there. So what I've done for these um, is to go in, you have what was approved by the committee, and I've made some comments. Now, unlike the chapters that are written where you've got an ability to just go in and put suggestions in. I couldn't find that when they use the Excel. So you kind of have to just drop them in. So if you want suggestions, just pick a square and just start typing it in. So if you want Ariane suggestions or if you want to just come over and put some comments beside it, that's fine. Um, but I put in my comments for the aspirations and then some suggestions of what I would do with the goals. Um, again, these are the goals that the committee approved. Um, and so some of these I go through and say, I think these are distinct and should be kept. Some of them I say, um, these could be deleted. Some of these I say, these could be merged. Um, so I just went through, so as I said, for each one of these chapters for the implementation strategies, I went through and put them in there. And then for some of them, I've started to pull together some chapters, just like we have for the other ones, just a first draft. Um, but what I haven't done is put anything into the um, aspirations and goals, because we'll complete this after the aspirations and goals are approved. So it doesn't make sense for me in the written chapter to talk about it until we approve them. But I figure it's a way for me to just start getting some stuff on here for everybody to review. Um, so again, I've done that for aspirations and goals are in there for parks, energy, historic we've already done, housing, natural resources, and transportation. And now I'm starting to work on some chapters to add in there. But the idea of what we wanted to be able to do today was to be able to go through and approve the aspirations and approve the goals. So that way, between now and the next meeting, I can plug in all the strategies and then next time we can approve the strategies. Because depending on how we adjust the goal aspirations and goals may affect what strategies, you know, how they get grouped, how they fit together, um, which one, you know, some of them may not be applicable anymore if we drop a goal entirely. So um, I just wanted to be able to go through and and kind of take them individually. So that was you know, kind of giving a, a, an introduction of how I'm thinking we're going to go after these and talk about these is to um, tackle these um, in that way. So uh, I guess with that quick introduction, um, 
what the uh, energy committee had put together were five separate or six separate um, aspirations. And really the first three are about net zero 2030, which is about the city being um, net zero by 2030. So that includes a goal, an aspiration about electricity, one about our thermal, and one about our transportation. So, um, and then the last three are about the citywide goals to be net zero. So those are looking at 2050 goals. And again, um, two of them are uh, ones for electricity, ones for heating and ones for transportation. So um, I propose that we could very easily consolidate this down either into one, um, you know, the aspirations to eliminate all fossil fuel use within the city, including one by 2030, 100% of the energy used for municipal government operations will be renewable or offset. And by 2050, fossil fuel will be eliminated entirely and 100% energy needs municipal, residential and commercial will be met renewably. So we can either put it into one or split it into two. That would really be up to you guys. But that was my thought is we could fairly easily collapse these down in. It seems it's, like these are the like these aspirations are actually like the goals. Those are all measurable objectives, and the the although maybe it's more nuanced than that. It seems like the the aspiration is that we eliminate all fossil fuel use, and our our goals, our measurable objectives, are these, and then uh, every all the stuff that was in included in the goals and measurable objectives tab are kind of a, a little bit of like a mix of strategy and more, more detailed um, um, metrics, which I think are great. However, maybe we, I'm not sure we can include them in the plan. If we were to do this for every chapter, we'd have several hundred goals. Um, so I think it's, you know, there's clearly a ton of work that's been done on this and these should be part of um, some of the plans or the, the work being done by the energy um, committee, but I don't know that it makes sense to include everything in the, um, in the plan. The the point here was that the the aspiration of the city is to become net zero so because of that we have different aspects of it and originally it was asked everyone to be net zero by 2030 then we realized that that wasn't feasible so it seemed more appropriate to make the municipal by 2030 and the uh, rest of the city citywide by 2050. i can certainly see mike's point about reducing these to two aspirations, one being uh, aspiration that the uh, municipal um, use would be net zero, and then one that the uh, um, potentially that the government, uh, sorry, that the um, residential would be no, now I'm, now I'm thinking again that, that by tw we should at least have one by 2030 and one by 2050, I guess is where I'm getting to that. Um, the it, it seems like that's really nice and clean then. Like our aspiration is for us to be net zero. And then our goals are we have two, one for the city to be by 20 municipal net zero by 2030 and then for everyone else by 2050. But the thing is that the, the whole approach to those two particular pieces um, is so different that to me, it's an aspiration. Um, we have a lot more control over the municipal than we do over citywide. So I, it, it seems to muddy the waters if we try to put those two together. I like I like John's approach. I think I think what we're saying is we aspire to create a city that is net zero, um, and 
I think breaking it up into the two, you know, beyond that is make, makes a lot of sense. I get I get what you're saying, Bar, but it seems to me that I know that they're very distinct, but I think the aspiration is still one and the same, which is to quit using fossil fuels in, in the city. Actually, being net zero is a different aspiration than, than stopping with fossil fuels. So, um, but are you saying basically to just replace this with one aspiration? Yeah, I think I think John's construct is is just really clean, and I think for the for a reader outside looking in, it, it it's really concise and it's easy to follow. So, I, I, I like it. I get what you're saying, Barb, but I, I think. No, but I, I mean, my question is: is does that break down then to one aspiration, John? I think I think so, and and you know maybe it, maybe it's not eliminate all fossil fuels within the city. Maybe it's Montpelier will be net zero a net zero city, and then I think having the the two goals that you articulated um, seem seem easy you know i can go to my neighbor and say we're, we want to be a net zero city here are two concrete goals that we're trying to hit and then people can like wrap their heads around that and we can outline the strategies that that get us there But a lot of this other stuff seems seems maybe too wonky to in, include in like a, a city plan. Well, before we move on to that, let's um, see what, every, what everyone's thoughts are about having just one aspiration and then turning some of these aspirations into goals. Um, Ariana, Marcella, what do you think? The only concern I think I have about collapsing everything into so on the one hand when i was reading these i felt like there were i was feeling like a little confused about what was a goal and what was a strategy and and what was an aspiration so this might help that but then the only thing about saying net zero is that there are it is a little more nuanced than that it's net zero by a certain point and then there are in certain sectors full elimination of fossil fuel use so if we don't feel like we're losing too much of that nuance with a simple aspiration fine but I, we could add in i don't know having a little bit more nuance might be nice i could agree with that and there's also this one about reducing energy use overall, which is kind of a whole other issue. So there's like, I see three issues. There's net zero, there's reduce, there's reducing overall electrical use, and there's eliminating fossil fuels. So that feels like either three aspirations or one <laughs> that kind of gets all of them, wordsmithed into all of them. Unless we can find a way to collapse them all, I guess. I feel like using less energy is falls under uh, eliminating use of fossil fuels because it is a way to get there. Um, actually, using less energy would also affect renewables. We'd have less renewables we have to use. So it, I mean, that's sort, of why, that's sort of why it needs to be considered separately, but, um, or why we did consider it separately anyway. But um, it just as long as you make sure that it doesn't just say fossil fuel use, because that does not represent the aspiration reflected in all, all of these. It's not just fossil fuel use. It's net zero energy. And and potentially and reduced fossil fuel use because uh, I mean isn't an, isn't a net zero aspiration doesn't that encompass reduced fossil fuel use I mean that's a primary component of like a net zero world right reduced but not necessarily eliminated if it's offset I mean there may be some things that that 
even by 2050, we can't imagine not have using some um, degree of fossil fuels. But um, okay, they, yeah, there was a lot of talk about offsets, I guess I would say that. I think it gets really, really, it gets really complicated and we're not going to be able to, we can have some of it, some of it in the discussion, but we can't address all of it mm -hmm. in this city plan. Um, like, obviously, I think reducing our demand is a component of it, given the, you know, it'd be easy to flip everything over to, or not, or not easy, but maybe simpler just to flip over everything to, um, to using non fossil fuel energy sources. But what if we just, you know, ramped up the demand to a point where the, the generation needed to meet those demands was really high or the other way we meet that is like, what if, what if our population, you know, half the people moved out of Montpelier, uh, you know, we would reduce our, we could reduce our demand substantially. And I don't think that's how, um, that's how we want to get there. And the, the other part of, of this whole chapter, and again, I don't, I don't know that it needs to be a central part of it, but what wasn't uh, part, very explicit was the uh, regional context of, you know, having a household move into Montpelier as opposed to some of the surrounding communities does far more than anything um, to reduce energy demand, right? It has, it, it reduces transportation or VMTs by 30%, which is like the biggest uh, component of their energy energy budget anyway. And so, you know, but that would increase our, our energy usage overall, but it would reduce it regionally. So things get like murky or, or complicated pretty quickly. And I don't think that we need to worry about being, you know, thorough and comprehensive in our necessarily articulating all of these pieces more about like, here's where we want to go. And here's, here's our, are some of the strategies. And I think the, um, the energy committee, as well as a number of other, uh, groups have done a, an excellent job in getting into some of those nuances that continue to evolve, um, pretty quickly. Well, just to clarify, I mean, I think this was looking strictly at Montpelier, not, you're right, absolutely right, that the best thing to do would be to bring people in from, you know, their five acres all around the city, but that, you know, that's not part of the purview of this. Um, it really did, put, because the, the goal, the city council goal, uh, goals now, were really related to Montpelier. So we had to sort of, you have to sort of uh, focus it somewhere. Um, so can we, it, sound, it sounds like there's enough interest to vote on a change in aspirations. Can we, can we get some language from someone for a new, for a new one? Um, Cause it's, un, unless we want to stay with all fossil fuel use that's okay. Well, I think, I, think they were, I was going to say what I heard were, were two possibilities. One was just to go with Montpelier will be a net zero city. And the other one was to kind of go in between what John suggested and what I suggested. And I just wrote down Montpelier will be a net zero city by 2030 for municipal operations and by 2050 community wide, which would be a shorter way of saying what I said it, unless somebody can come up with even, even shorter way of, getting in between, but there was just kind of the, the real short will be a net zero city and then the slightly longer. I think that covers it, Mike, your um, slightly longer version. It wasn't very, very much longer. Yeah, I think that, I think that covers our aspiration and goals. Uh, John, what you say, or is what you're saying that the part that Mike added is he's pretty much adding the goal in, and so if, like we can leave that out, and the person can just look at the goals to know what what that is. Well, I think one one option that I like would be 
I mean, if you had that, that, that what Mike said incorporated the, I think what could be the two goals, um, of this, uh, of this chapter. So, so it's, it's, if it, if those are the goals, then it's best not to state them in the aspiration as well. Right. Is that what follows logically from what you're saying? Um, yeah, I, I guess so. So, Mike, you've added in your wording here. I just put it there so we've got something yeah. to, to stick forks into or like or dislike. What are other people's thoughts on having the slightly longer aspiration as a possibility? Or um, obviously, we would have to, that means the goals would be broken down into smaller pieces within that. So it would. I mean, at least I'm interpreting this to mean if we if we have the longer aspiration, then we'll probably have lot more goals. It won't be just those two things. I don't know. I think we'll tackle the goals when we get there. I mean, I think there's a conversation to be had there anyways, because I think they had a lot more goals than they needed. But that was how it works out for a work for a working document. I think it works. But I think, um, you know, when we get to that tab, we'll be or we can leave yeah, this well, here temporarily and go to the goals and come back. Yeah, one relies on the other, which is what I'm saying. Yeah, which is why I haven't done the strategies. <laughs> uh, okay, so John, since you um, brought up the topic, do you have a motion for a particular aspiration or, or or actually we can we don't have to vote but but just is there is there a, a preference that you have between these two or are you fine with either one you're muted you're still muted yep just found the unmute button <laughs> um you know i guess I mean, I guess my preference is for the shorter one as it usually will be, um, but it could also just be the second one. And then the, the, the goals would just be, you know, will be net zero for municipal by 2030 and community wide by 2050. So they would be a bit a bit redundant, but I don't think that matters. It's really just stylistic. None of I don't think this changes any of the strategies, which will be more important. Could we um, could we split the difference and just say Montpelier will be a net zero city by twenty fifty? I don't think it holds our feet to the fire. But um, I think I think you can have our goal be then articulated by saying, you know, we'll be tw by 2030 for municipal operations and then 2050 um, for all. But yeah, I think, I think adding Montpelier will be a net zero city by 2050 is, is clean. I feel like it's a bit misleading. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't match what the council, um, asked for or approved but that, and like I, I recognize it's not incorrect but it but if a, I mean a, a person could be misled um, to not understand that there's a shorter term goal in there too that would be contained in the goals yeah I don't necessarily think the steps have to be in the aspiration Well, Actually, so, yeah, I was just going to jump in and say when, when we're looking at the goals and when we talked about developing the goals, and I'll just jump ahead really quick. What we were looking at was the goals were really breaking down the aspiration into bite-sized pieces. So 
not really into necessarily, well, now we'll have two goals, one for 2030 and one for 2050, because your strategies to implement the 2030 goals are, are varied. That's why this kind of comes out. They actually have, you know, works out well on this screen because these are the eight goals that they used to talk about how to be, how to make city government net zero. So they, they wanted to really take them into bite-sized pieces. One is how do we get our electric use? How do we reduce our electric use? Um, how do we convert the remaining to um, net zero, basically? How do we convert it all to renewable? And then the third one is what do we do for new facilities for electricity? How do we make new, how do we make new facilities be net zero? So you'll see in my comments that I think there's some of these that we could combine. And then five, six, and seven are all about thermal. How do we get all of our facilities, our city hall, the fire department, police department, swimming pool, rec facilities, um, heating plant, or, or you know, or these are, how do we make them all net zero? How do we reduce the amount they're producing? How do we um, convert what's left to net zero? And what do we do about if we build a new facility? Um, and then the last one is talking about how do we get the um, transportation. So snow plows, fire trucks, police cars, how do we get them to be um, net zero? Actually, a seven and eight are um, about that. So uh, really the goals are kind of designed to be a little bit more bite-sized. And, you know, I think in my looking at this as eight, I got it down to combining one and four and deleting seven. Number two would stand alone. Three, six, and eight would be combined. And number five would stand alone just because of the types of strategies that come after them. How do we implement conservation? Conservation really comes down to um, efficiency modifications. Um, so number seven is about efficiency modifications to car, which, which don't make any sense. But the other ones are really, you know, how do we reduce electricity? How do we reduce fossil fuels? They're all through very similar. We do a plan, we do a CIP, we implement the CIP. Um, you know, there's, they're pretty much saying the same thing. They're doing different things, how, how to make the lights more efficient, how to make the buildings more efficient, but it all falls into the same types of strategies. Um, and then three, six, and eight, you know, well, you guys can go through and look at them. Um, I didn't think seven made any sense because it was reducing fuel fleet use by 30%. That's, with, that's con conservation, Mike? With, that's yeah, the but conservation with, with our goal. goal, with our goal to be net, net zero fuel use, simply reducing fuel use isn't getting us no, but everything else, we're reducing consumption. And this is a, an idea. This is following that same model of reducing consumption. Um, in other words, you know, being more efficient about the actual trips that the fleet uses. Um, so reduce the use by 30% it is reflecting on that. It's not the, it's not the equipment, it's how it's used. Yeah, and I just don't know realistically. And again, everything comes down to this magic 30%. And I don't know if there's any thought behind what that was. And I and I pushed MIAC on that too about I'm, I'm surprised to see that everything is a 30% reduction. Um, trying to do fuel efficiency on my house, I find it very hard to reduce the amount of electricity. I find it very easy to reduce the amount of fuel oil I use. Um, but, um, you know, and then to think about a 30% reduction in the in the, let's say the vehicle trips, um, you know, I just think realistically, we're talking about telling people not to go out on emergency calls for police, telling people not to go out on emergency calls with the fire department and telling the people not to go out and plow the, plow the roads. I don't think any of, I don't think there's a 30% reality out there. These guys already would be the most efficient that they can um, because it's, you know, especially for DPW, they, they map out these routes to be as fast and efficient as possible. I just don't see mm -hmm. number seven as being possible personally, but that's just my opinion. I'm, that's why I threw it in there as, as I would, I would delete it, but if you guys want to keep it, go for it. I think it may or it may or may not be, but I don't, I don't think that putting it in the plan and 
spending a whole lot of time, you know, understanding if 30% is the right or wrong number and debating the feasibility under different scenarios is going to be a very productive or meaningful, um, meaningful thing for us to do. And I, and I don't think people will look at this and I don't think the decision will be, it doesn't seem like the, the, the plan should be the decision for this kind of specific, um, specific target. Can I just answer your question about the 30% Mike? Yeah, go ahead. The 30% had to do, uh, started out with the uh, uh, building efficiency because that's what uh, Efficiency Vermont says is between weatherization and other upgrades to um, equipment and things like that, that at least residentially, um, we should be able to reduce uh, energy consumption by 30%. So given no, you know, <laughs> No other option for a metric. That's the me that's why that metric shows up everywhere, um, just as as a uh, guideline, so that then we're producing a seventy percent um, using renewables. Um, okay, so I have one question. It's kind of a threshold thing for looking at the goals. Did the energy working group? redo the goals at all? Like, is there something that, that like, if, is there work that's been done that we're, we haven't looked at? What energy working group? There's not one? No. Oh, okay. You mean uh, the planning commission? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't think so. Oh, okay, so energy wasn't we, one that we had done. Okay, sorry, sorry about we that. We could do that if it would be more efficient in terms of, of um, or we could just look at at Mike's suggestion for combining them. Um, no, no, I just I just wanted to I just want to get that out of the way to make sure that we're sure. you know not getting ahead of ourselves on anything. Okay, uh, so okay, we've we've kind of put aside the aspiration question for now, and and we're looking at the goals. Um, it sounds like if we combine these, we still need to restate them, Mike. Right? Or is, do you have language here for restating them as you're proposing? No, I haven't. I haven't wordsmithed something. Um, you know, I don't think it would be hard if we if we know, you know, combining the two efficiencies, and we can go with you know, uh, you know, if John's comment, if people want to go with that, hey, we should drop the the by thirty percent off of these and the by seventy percent off of these, and just go with you know, reduce two thousand reduce two thousand fifteen baseline municipal energy use. Um, or actually it would be some other combination because it's that's municipal electricity. If we combine one and four, it's municipal electricity and um, municipal heating loads. You know, we'd probably use some language about conservation and efficiency. Aren't a lot of these uh, strategies like all new municipal facilities and buildings will be net zero for electric use at the time of construction. Like, isn't that just, isn't that a strategy? Well, a strategy has to actually relate to a policy or project or something like that. So, um, well, if our, if our, if our goal is to, for municipal facilities to be net zero, by 2030, it seems like a pretty clear policy to link it to, right? That our new buildings will be net zero. Yeah, and I think that's what my goal was with number combining three, six, and eight was to have a single goal that would address new facilities and buildings um, and the purchase of new equipment. So I was kind mm -hmm. of thinking in this box, um, would be combining three, six, and eight because they all, they're all they all about new things. And so because we're just in the municipal world right here, every new facility that we build, every new car that we buy, every new truck that we buy, every new piece of equipment that we buy really all comes out of one group of um, strategies that we simply, uh, we're going to adopt the policy that says we're going to do this net zero 
as we build new facilities or we buy new equipment, it's in the CIP and then it just gets implemented. So it's, they all basically are in that same Uber box, even though they're talking about three different things, net zero electricity, net zero cars. Um, so I think those three could be combined relatively easily. And then I can put together strategies on the next page for how to do that. But Aren't, aren't they strategies though? The no, purchase. because you couldn't assign them to someone. You couldn't assign them to someone and have that happen. Who would be responsible for that? The um, public, public works director? No. My understanding so far is that it's fine for goals to be measurable by themselves, but the what makes them different than the strategies are the more than one strategy underneath the goal that is the specific things that get you to that measurable number like goal. Um, so that's why Mike's salute, the suggestion could work well because it, it is tying together similar things, but there would be a number of different strategies under that those particular combined goals. Well, it looks like, okay, it looks like we need to come up with, with language for these. Um, and yeah, I'd like to try to move along a little bit more. <clears throat> uh, so I'd like to just walk through and for us to create uh, the new goals here. Uh, if, if people are in agreement to, to group some of these together to make it more succinct and, you know, um, palatable for the for the reader uh, uh so mike says combine one four and seven so that's conservation and efficiency uh and then reduce municipal heating load and reduce municipal fleet fuel so so mike you put conservation efficiency in there because you think that 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 should be one goal that uh, and this is where i don't really want to make up language like off the top of my head right like in mid-sentence like this but you know a goal there that says conservation and efficiency is the purpose. Yeah, that's pretty much where where I was kind of going. I mean, like I was thinking for the one that we were just talking about with uh, with John, this third one here, um, it could be something like all new municipal facilities, equipment, and vehicles will be net zero because we don't need the date in there. It's already in the goal, or it's already in the aspiration. Um, That covers all three of those goals, or or just take out the municipal fleet as you just as you described. Redu eliminate seven. That's the one you're talking about, right? Is seven? Yeah, yeah I I included it. Um, well, uh, this is about this is about um, number eight, which is. Oh. 100% renewable energy use for the remaining 70% of the baseline fuel use. Um, so basically this is. Well, eight, eight becomes one that goes into the renewable energy section, not the conservation and efficiency section. Yeah, correct. I just jumped to this third, to the third one that we were talking about here, this number three, six and eight. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, that threw me off too, because I thought you were rephrasing one, four, and seven. Well, it seems like we have, do we have language for one and four, one and four, and deleting seven? So uh, I just had that one no, in my head. We gotta, so. we gotta figure that one out, Barb. Uh, so if, if we don't include 30%, if we don't have numbers, are we gonna, does that mean we're gonna have strategies that don't have numbers that are just vague? vaguely say reduce? It, it. No, the strategies, then they aren't in there. So the strategies are very specific action steps. So um, the benchmarks, um, we've been kind of separated out the benchmarks and we're kind of holding them off to the, to the side and we'll 
tackle benchmarks in a, in a different place. Um, but I think perhaps we should eliminate the benchmarks. But well, we, we talked about putting them in some other places and certain we, we've had some co more complex conversations at the last meeting. We talked a little bit about benchmarks can be difficult. Um, there are two, two ways of doing benchmarks. One is to measure outputs and the other one is to measure outcomes. So these are looking at outcomes being net zero by 2030. So that's, you know, th that's a different benchmark. Last time we were talking about outputs because you know, um, doing historic surveys, you can't really measure the appreciation of a community for, for um, or measure a community's understanding. So we talked about doing outputs. In other words, we want to study two more historic districts. We want to conduct a, an archaeological survey. We want to, um, they're very specific things. We want to have 16, in the next eight years, we want to conduct 16 outreach efforts. Um, those are outputs. They're not really outcomes. So we just said because it's complicated and I'm trying to figure it out and I'm going to be working with Cameron to try to come up with how to fit all this in. We'll deal with the, the actual target benchmarks afterwards. Um, here, what we want to really look at is kind of the big picture of we've got an aspiration be 2030, 2050. How do we break that 2030 into a couple of bite sized pieces? Um, one is, you know, conservation and efficiency. Um, one is renewables and one is renewables and one is the municipal, what to do about the new things. All right. New construction or new, right. And if we like that, I can just go through and, and wordsmith something in between meetings to kind of, kind of fill in the blank that doesn't include a date, um, or a percent but really kind of fleshes out in the same spirit of this, all new municipal facility, facilities, equipment, and vehicles will be net zero. It, it wouldn't include a date? Be I don't think it needs to at this point because it's all going to be targeting back to that same aspiration, which is by 2030. So, I mean, we can put it in there. If you oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so so guys, so for three and six, I don't see it's not including eight, which you noted, right? Like you the, said to combine three, six, for this eight. for this one, this one, um, the question no, is no, if no, I no, delete no. seven. No, it's the 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 new the new strat uh, the new goal you have there for the that's supposed to be for three, six, and eight. That doesn't actually include yeah. eight, which because eight's about offset. The uh, vehicles. It's net zero is the offset. So just as a quick understanding, so net zero works in two ways. One is either we're gonna eliminate the fossil fuel use or we're going to offset that fossil fuel but, use. But eight, so we may still eight. use fossil, let's say we've got a ladder truck that it's impossible for us for our $2 million ladder truck to replace it and be net zero. So we will offset that by purchasing racks basically to offset that fossil fuels that we are using. Eight, as it's written, does not apply to just new vehicles, though. And this new goal does. Correct. To new vehicles. Correct. And this goes a little bit back to some of the complaints that I had about how this was structured with, with MEAC, which was that the only way to become net zero was really through vehicle replacement. And for the most part, most of our vehicles now, had we started this a couple of years ago, it would have been really good because even the heavy equipment gets replaced before 2030. Only your fire fire trucks. By 2030, every single police car that we own today will be replaced. No police car will exist. So we can fully replace all of those vehicles. Um, dump trucks, small dump trucks last about eight to 10 years. Your larger ones will last 10 to 12 years. Unfortunately, we're a couple of years behind from getting every single snow plow. Um, really, your big ones are your fire department equipment, which tends to have 20, 25 year lifespans. Um, fire equipment lasts a long time. So those will probably be doing a lot of offsets unless we've got some scheduled replacements in the next 10 years. Okay. So, okay. So, so, so if we, if we eliminate eight and we use this new goal, it's not exactly the same thing, but it, it gets at it in a way. Yes. Okay. 
just I just want to make sure that we're all following along with that. Mike, have you uh, added wording for this new goal into in, into our template? Which have you typed? Have right you now? typed in? Oh, you're okay. Yeah, it's in I'm trying to trying to find it. Oh. So it's it's another. No, just, yeah, just look at the screen from the Zoom right now. It's way over there. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to yeah, find it just, on my screen. I have a hard sorry. time with Jay. Okay, I got it. I have this shared screen up and then the other window up and I keep clicking on the zoom window because you've got the <laughs> spreadsheet up there. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. So, so, so we have that, we have, we have three, six and eight condensed there. So let's, let's do one, four and seven now. Um, well, sorry, sorry. I just saw this now. So net it will be net zero or offset, right? That's inherent that, in net zero. Pardon me? That's inherent in net zero. I, all right. All right. So you could yeah. either say net zero or you could say we'll. Never mind. Not let's leave it at fossil, net zero. We'll not use fossil fuels or be offset. Let's let's leave it where you have it. I think I think we should make a mental note though to make sure that in the chapter we define net zero correctly. If it's yeah. not already. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh. So let's 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 get one, four, and seven now. Um, what happened? To okay, that, that looks like it. That, that looks like it writes itself if you just combine the three. They all start off with the same thing. So start off with reduce. Re Reduce baseline municipal electricity heating load and municipal fleet fuel. To be net zero. We want well, to just say wait. energy use at this point? Yes. Because we're talking about renewables now, right? Just renewables. Well, we're talking about this is the conservation and efficiency. So this is reducing whatever we're talking about. Oh, we're I'm sorry. Less electricity. We're going to be using less heating fuel. And we're going to be using less um, vehicle fuel. I'm totally. Con I thought your first one was was the conservation one. The one the one you inserted into J was intended to be for conservation. Nope. No, I okay. mean number All four right. coming number four coming across with about new municipal things. So if we're buying a new buying a new vehicle is different than than reducing right. baseline energy use. I see now that you put that you put that in, in the J column next to your note about combining three, six, and eight. I didn't see that before. Okay. So do we need do we need to refer to 2015 as the baseline and the goal? Um, not if we put in municipal, because we've already identified that in the aspiration, Mike said. Yeah, I mean, these three are going to be referring to that the first aspiration, which is 2030. So and, and I don't think we have to say um, 2015, because it's actually kind of redundant if you, you know, you could say reduce 2015 reduce whatever, the, the baseline is 2015. So you don't actually have to say the the 2015 baseline because that's being okay. redundant. Do we want to identify anywhere that that is the baseline? Yeah, we, we have, have to identify that somewhere. Okay. Probably okay. where we have the benchmarks. Okay, I, I think we should put a municipal though in just to, for clarification about what it means. Under the first one. Re reduce baseline municipal energy use. Yes. Because that's, that's, I mean, it's referring to just the city. It's not referring to everything in the city for, yeah. for that. Great. Uh, okay. So, so yeah, let's move on to restating too. Go ahead, Mike. 
So the, the issue that comes up with two and five is combining those are actually a little bit tricky because they actually have slightly different implementation strategies that go along with them. Um, how we reduce our, or how we offset our electricity, or, which we've already done basically. Um, you're talking about building solar panels, we're talking about um, co-gen plants, we're talking about, um, you know, G GMP is already gonna be net zero anyway, so, our, so most of it doesn't, doesn't matter for, for us. Um, because we're already buying net zero energy. Um, so two is different than how do we convert our, you know, um, we can't use city hall because that's on the, the district heat plant, but um, the senior center, um, how do we make the senior center um, net zero is number five. And that's completely different strategies um, than how we do number two, which is why I kind of said, you know, number two, you know, this is my personal opinion. I would probably keep number two as a separate goal and keep number five. And we would end up with what? One, two, three, four goals. We've gone did from you, eight to four. Did you say that goal two is already met as of today? Uh, I would kind of make that case, but I don't know if the yeah, seems like a good reason to, not to have that to goal. get rid of it. No. Is there a high fives button on Zoom? Here? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> well, it depends on how you look at it. Seventy percent of it is is met because it, there was the assumption that we were going to reduce um, municipal consumption by thirty. So that's why the solar installation is only set to produce 70% of the municipal. And we ended up giving some to the schools as a result of that. Otherwise it would have been higher than 70%. Yeah, but the, the idea is if we wanna use 100% renewable energy, mm -hmm. renewable electricity, and even if we didn't have our solar farm, and even if we weren't gonna be producing electricity at the power plant or at the uh, sewer plant, we're still buying 100% green power from GMP. It's yeah, already. Is yeah, that meant? Why. They're, they're using nuclear power for some of it until 2025, and they'll be net zero by 2030. Um, what is that meant? To, is that is that meant to be the entire city or just municipal in this case? That's the that's their that is GMP. GMP has as, uh, as their their yeah. mission their goal oh. to be net zero by 2030, which is why a lot of these electrical pushes in my view have been, you know, um, we're, we're investing a lot of energy, um, personal energy <laughs> in doing more and more on the electrical front when it's not, it's, we're just getting, we're just getting super duper duper net zero. You know, we're gonna produce as much power as we use. Well, that's not net zero, that's, that's a different goal. Um, and I think they've, they've just gone overboard on the electrical front because we, we are fortunate, you know, if we were hooked to a different utility, we would be wanting to do all of the things that we are doing. Um, we just end up in a unique position in that we're hooked to a good power, um, group that's, that's doing it. And it's, it's not to say it's not a good idea for us to be doing these solar farms and everything else, but, um, so we don't we, we have should we drop the Should we drop the goal? It can Can anyone say why we should keep the goal? Well, for one reason, because the thermal side is going to increase our electrical consumption, perhaps dr drastically, with the addition of heat pumps. So the thermal side affects the electrical side. So I, you know, how do we kind of assume? Do we assume that Green Mountain Power will continue to provide us with a never-ending quantity of electrical power. This is what, <laughs> why it gets complex. Hydro-Quebec will. Yeah, you'll have a lot of people saying, you know, Hydro-Quebec is, uh, is not our ultimate solution. Well, GMP would disagree. Mm. In some okay, cases. I just, but... I just, I just want to, I mean, uh, I, don't want to waste people's time by having goals that that don't mean anything. 
Um, so if, I mean, we can still talk about the thermal sidebar, but have goals related to energy efficiency. Because when you say thermal, I take you mean, I take it you mean energy efficiency. It means converting our, our current fossil fuel heating sources to electricity. Because that's what okay. heat pumps use is electricity. Okay. So, so um, but, but that does sound like a different, that's a different goal, right? Is, is that? Is yeah, that I, uh, yeah, and I, I see those, the strategies for implementing number five would be different strategies, assuming we kept number two. The, the strategies for implementing number two are different than the strategies for implementing number five. So I'm kind of looking ahead a little bit and then kind of coming back to go through and say, I probably wouldn't merge these two because they're going to be harder to you know, they'll have a clunkier set of strategies. I mean, we could do it and just yep. have strategies that, you know, are they're, okay. very specific they're, they're about the element they're attacking. Uh, okay, well, let's, let's, if everyone's okay with it, let's move on to five for now and, and, and not worry about two, possibly not I mean, if it doesn't achieve anything for us. Um, so for number five, do we need to rephrase that? We stopped referring to this remaining 70% thing. I would. So con convert, uh, con convert uh, our base heating loads to 100% renewable energy. Yeah, uh, perfect. Convert remaining base heating loads to 100% renewable energy without the percentage, I mean, just saying, or we could say rather than saying 100%, we could say all renewable energy or total okay. renewable energy. I don't think, I don't think remaining is helpful there. To me, if, if you're trying to, I don't know, I, I think it could be, it would hard, well, hard for people to know what that means if they, if they don't have all the background info. Well, it's, it's piggybacking on reducing the baseline municipal energy use up above. But um, so once we reduce it, then we convert. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, the it, we can leave the word remaining out there and it doesn't do anything to stop the reduced baseline municipal energy use. It doesn't take away from it. I don't care. I, I didn't capture where we where we had gotten to. I think you wrote it. Oh, is it? Okay. Wait. I mean, I, I think I think Barb. Uh, pointed out instead of saying 100 percent renewable energy she said something like all renewable energy something like that which i don't but i think we probably should specify that that we mean completely and i guess i was you and i were arguing about remaining um so what i was suggesting was convert the remaining base heating loads to total renewable energy or I offset just, I just like clarity. And so if we're going to say remaining, I think we need to also include in the sentence remaining f after the reduction in baseline municipal energy use so that, so that the sentence makes sense by itself. That's why it used to be. Uh, and then it gets worse. <laughs> that's why there was used to be the 30 and the 70. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so Mike, for number six. Uh, six has already been looped into the one above. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three, six, and eight. Yep. Uh, so, it's, uh, so seven. So it leaves the question of whether we okay. loop two in as its own or. How about people who haven't said anything in a bit? Uh, what do you think about having a goal? to provide 100% renewable energy, knowing that our utility is going to do that and that we will do nothing, but we will achieve the goal. I don't think it's worth the space. If we're not gonna do anything, 
I don't think we need it. Well, the, the trick is they actually are doing more. And that's been a little bit of my, some of my comments to them is, you know, we do have, although we are, we, we are kind of wrapping it up. Um, the last of the steps is really this phase two energy production for the waste biogas plant. Um, but they also had a goal to study additional renewable energy productions as future demand increases. Um, so um, they have the, the strategies are really to develop the net zero plan, um, continue the net meter solar project. Um, I mean, if, if we're going to collapse on, around the idea that GMP is going to be the primary driver of realizing a net zero future, that's fine. But it sounds like there's plenty of there's plenty of there's plenty of projects on the margins that help bring that along. So I think that's consistent with a our broader net zero stated goal. So I think that's worth keeping. I'm fine going along with what others want to do. Okay. Well, what do you think about what Aaron said, Mike? Um, that it sounds like we will have strategies that go along with this and things for the city to do, in which case I think that would be an argument for keeping it. And plus, I, I kind of question and this, I don't think this is a particularly great reason to do something on a town on a town plan, but I sort of question just the optics of fashioning an energy section of a town plan around the concept that like, well, we purchased power from a utility that stated that they're going to take care of this problem for us. Um, so, you know, we will realize our goal by being a power customer. <laughs> I, I it just seems to me we can highlight these other things that the town has decided to do, even though they might not, it might be fairly marginal. Uh, continue. It's unvermonter to just accept to not reinvent the wheel or, or to do things the easy way. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we, we've got, we've got to put our two cents in, in addition. Hundred percent renewable. I mean, we're so close to doing it already. Um, yeah. All right. How about continue to provide? I'm just winging it here. Close. What? I what have, are you well, I, have in? I have one thing. I have one thing. Can we instead of say continue to provide? Can we just say provide? And I, that's something that came up in our in, when we were tinkering things in the housing too. It still starts with an action word that way, but um, it just I don't know. Yeah. I think it's. Uh, and, and on that same on that same theme, the what we have now is goal three. If we're all if we're, I think our, our convention has been to start with action words on the goals. So if we could rephrase that, um, uh, which one are you talking about? I'm talking about well, the only one that doesn't start with a verb, the one that says <laughs> all is municipal. Oh, I got to purchase. Ah. And purchase and construction of all new facilities. Sure. I mean, I'd be fine with the word like make or something like that too, if you wanted to. If, if you're, I don't know. I keep making a big Lebowski reference and when you're, if you're into that whole brevity thing, man. Um, anyway. All right. Well, that kind of, it doesn't do a ton for those 
but those were the four. Now down here we had for the non, get up to from nine to 18 are all the ones that were done for the city. And so I had, again, put a couple of thoughts here. Um, they broke them into like residential, commercial, new construction, weatherization, fuel switching. So they had a bunch of them that were kind of very easy to, to start to combine them. MEAC targeted their strategies for residential and commercial. We could combine 9, 10, and 12, as these all involve assisting and helping people do energy audits, collaborating with Efficiency Vermont, and having programs to assist in conservation or weatherization. And we maybe could combine 13, which is fuel switching for heating. Um, that would combine 9, 10, 12, what happens to 11? Oh, 11 and 14 are combined because they're both new construction. 13, yeah, I just talked about 13. It could be either held alone or combined with nine and 10. And then for me, so I really got this down to three. We've got one, two, if, assuming 13's in there. And then the transportation, and again, this is going way beyond my authority to be kind of pushing things, but actually this can be digested down into two. So we're think, remember, we're talking about how do we make the residents of Montpelier um, net zero? So first is converting to electric and biodiesel vehicles, whether that's private or transit vehicles. And the second is to reduce vehicle, you know, vehicle miles. Um, so I think a couple of these, I think 18, is not possible. Um, and uh, I don't think 19 is, is uh, something that's in our control as well. Um, so 18 increased fuel standards and 19 increased the use of electric vehicles by commuters. I, I don't think either one of those is possible, but I think if we broke our transportation into two pieces, one is a goal to reduce vehicle miles and the second goal, which is conversion to electric. Uh, couldn't you couldn't you even turn those two into one by stating that having a goal is uh, I guess I guess we're not looking to eliminate fossil fuel use by vehicles, but something along those lines would be a goal that those two new goals fit under. Um. The strategies for, if we're jumping to transportation, the strategies for reducing vehicle miles comes down to, you know, using public transit um, strategies that are out kind of different than how do we get people to convert to using electric vehicles? Uh, we're going to maybe have to provide Burlington is providing some subsidies. You buy an electric car and you live in Burlington, they'll give you a check for a thousand bucks to buy that car or 2000 bucks. Um, that's a program for how you get your residents to convert to electric vehicles, making sure we have enough electric charging stations, making sure we've got um, uh, those types of things. Reducing vehicle miles is kind of different. That's talking about um, making sure we have the, the support of the transportation plan and bike routes and having um, meeting dense, certain densities. Um, those yeah, types but they, they, all those things fit under, you know, reducing the use of fossil fuel by vehicles. But we want to eliminate it. I mean, they want to be net zero. Okay. So right. So that was, okay. That's the other thing. We can make that goals, the goal. Yeah. In here, they talk about reducing fossil fuel use, and reducing fossil fuel use will not get you to net zero. You want to eliminate fossil fuel use. So. So so I mean I, I would be because because these is, this is still a lot of goals compared with the other chapters we we're you know going to be contemplating. So making that into one, I think, seems better to cut down the number because they're, they, I think they both, they all get at the same thing, which is to eliminate fossil fuel use by vehicles. So Kirby, then you're suggesting that the two, uh, 
reducing vehicle use would be a strategy that would contribute to that goal, as yeah. well as the <clears throat> converting yeah. to uh, electric and biodiesel would be another strategy. Yeah. So I don't know if we have to go through and, and rewrite these, but so our goal is really to get this down to three. Is that the thought? Well, he had well, five under municipal, didn't we? Yeah, well. well. Yeah, and I think, I mean, remember, we're talking about a very, um, you know, we, we can't just be really nonchalant about the fact that we're talking about trying to make our, our city net zero. I mean, these are, of, of all of our, transformative um, things. I mean, energy, our energy goals are the most transformative and are the most progressive ones that we have in this entire plan. Um, it's not surprising that we would end up with four, five up here would be one, two, three, four goals up here. Um, and now and we're talking about goals four down more. Here. So we're looking at seven goals um, to make I, our well, entire I, city net zero with seven goals. Uh, again, eight. It's eight if you count the transportation ones. If transportation split into two, yes. Or, am I counting it, this wrong? Like it, it looks like the, the bottom part. It looks like you have even if transportation is one goal, there's four spots there, right? Nine, ten, and twelve together. Eleven and fourteen together would be a second goal. Thirteen. Oh, is this thirteen goes up with? Seven. Okay. That would be all right. Yeah, assuming Thanks. you guys wanted number three rolled into the, the top, which we haven't really talked about, but. Um, okay, yeah, we can try to, we can get to that now. Uh, did you have something, Aaron? No. Oh, okay. Uh, so is, is everybody fine with us hammering out number five here and getting our goals done okay uh so yeah thanks mike that was... 9, 10, 9 10 12 and 13. mike are you rewriting yeah or... to... baseline so yeah you could say baseline residential commercial uh, well, uh, reduced baseline residential, commercial, residential use, and I don't, yeah, I don't know about fitting 12 into that, that weatherization. It's a, it's a reduction strategy too. Yeah. I just, I, I don't know about fitting it in the same goal as talking about reducing electric electricity use for residential and commercial. It was why I jumped on the, the using the baseline energy use. It was what we did up here. We had reduced mu municipal energy use, and that was how we combined our electricity with our thermal, was just by using the word energy. Okay. So I grabbed yeah. that, same, that okay. same thought because it would help us grab 9, okay. 10, and 13. Okay. Sounds good. Reduced baseline energy use, what, for residential and commercial uh, oh. building? Yeah. Is it just the buildings? Yeah, that's what I was trying to. <laughs> well, once we're talking about if we're going to include weatherization. <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah. It's actually, the electricity used to be used for something inside the building, though. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be buildings specific as written. Mm -hmm. But I think both, all of them do. T mm. The intention. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the electricity will come from the buildings, even if it's powering something else. I think it may end up not. It's just being semantics. It's, yeah, <clears throat> if you're talking about process electrical use or something like that. That's really a difficult one to go after. Should we change four to buy there? 
reduce baseline energy use by residential and commercial buildings and equipment. Oh, you know, oh, that I was thinking the number four. I was like, you're confusing me. By yes, <laughs> baseline energy use by residential and commercial buildings and equipment. So I I just throw the buildings and equipment in above when we talked about this stuff. A lot of times when we start talking about residential lawn mowers and weed whackers and you know, mm -hmm. so. We're kind of actually looping that into these as well, even though it doesn't quite fit perfectly into thermal or electricity. But it's really difficult to talk about that in the in the same box as transportation. So I think I think that captures all four of those other goals. Um, so, and the reason why we, these guys are all looking at existing, all these things we just did are looking at existing buildings and, and uses. So how we help people who are already here with existing buildings is a completely different set of strategies than how do we help people who are building something new. And it's not really helping people build something new. Building a new house, that's why 11 and 14 are separate. Should we put, should we put, should we specify that in the goals to say reduce space on energy use by pre-existing residential and commercial buildings and equipment? We can so just use the word existing. Word. Yeah, existing, pre-existing. Yeah. Um, and then I think that helps the reader understand Oh, no, what did we do up the top here? We had uh, it's yeah, the provide one hundred percent renewable. Um, now you're going to be a problem. There you go. New construction. Trying to think of the starter word for this one. What did you say up top about the construction? It was, but it was ours because it said provide, but that no, was because not, it's, we're building our own municipal facilities. That's easy for us to say. Provide. But you did, you did a, you did a different goal up above, uh, not using provide. Scroll up a sec. A purchase and construction of all new. So you can, in this case, you can just say construction of all new residential and commercial. And then what's 14 say? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll be, we'll be net zero. For electric for electrical and uh, heating use. Uh, except the electrical is already taken care of above. Uh, oh, but this was eleven and fourteen. Yes, yeah, so actually you're right. Electrical and heating. Well, I guess it's just electricity and heating, right? And is that construction of all new residential and commercial buildings will be net zero for electricity and heating? Works good. Is that a cogent sentence? If, I mean, there's one of 11 is 2050 and 14 is 2030. Does that matter? Uh, so they got a little wonky with their stuff when we started talking about 2050. Um, they jumped ahead and took their 2050 goal and divided it into thirds. Yeah, okay. And so I think this works. I think okay. we can tackle that within the talk of benchmarks. Okay. Uh, Mike, you need to delete the A on the end of residential there or spell the word residential correctly, basically. There. 
one less typo to deal with later. I like residential. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a very European yeah. sound. Yeah, I know. It has a certain European flavor to it. I like. Let's make this whole thing in Italian, actually. That's good. Uh, so, 13. We did that. So it's really looking at trying to oh. see if, if we keep it as one or two, we're kind of tackling it as um, reducing vehicle miles traveled and reduce and switching to electric vehicles. So, so is, is, would it be okay to just say eliminate fossil fuel use by personal vehicles? To get into all that stuff? Eliminate. Fossil fuel use by, and I, and I think I think we might want to specify personal vehicles because that's what it really means, right? No, because it can also be transit, transit vehicles. Okay, so, okay. The private. Fossil so, okay. By if there's if their strategy is going at at buses, then okay, that then that's fine. Now, do we want to touch on the two parts? So what I'm thinking of, and we can go back and eliminate it through. Mike, have you added something in for that section? I'm just not seeing it on my screen. Are you looking at the Zoom screen? It's probably because he's still typing, Barb. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, all right. All right, so I'll put that in really quick. Eliminate fossil fuel use by vehicles through reduction of vehicle miles traveled and conversion to electric and biodiesel. Open for Reese wordsmithing. I think it, it's fine with me if you want to specify that, and it's also fine with me if you want to leave it to strategies to specify that. Yeah, I agree. Because if we're doing it elsewhere, it makes more sense maybe to leave that as part of strategies. There's also an overlap with the VMT potentially overlapping with transportation. I think he plans to write it out via the vehicle miles traveled. No, no, no. I just mean that 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 part of that goal might overlap with transportation. So if he were to break those into the goals, uh, Kirby, it would just say eliminate fossil fuel use by vehicles. Yeah. Set the boat. Uh, what do other people think? Do we want the long version or short version? Marcella, do you have a thought? I guess short. It goes with the others better. Okay. Arion, do you have a thought? As long yeah, as yeah, sure, shorter is better for me. Yeah, as long as that's captured elsewhere or in the strategies. Does that bother anyone that these were all talking net zero, and now at the last time we threw in eliminate fossil fuels? I, I think know. that was an initial confusion of mine, but I think we just got to go with it because that's what is there. Like it took me a few reads to understand like when we were reading the aspirations, but. I think if we, as lo so long as we make sure that we clearly define the net zero concept as including reduction in fossil fuel use, it's okay. Oh, do you think people are gonna think well, in, it's in out of the case, blue? Do we, I, th I think the question is, do we plan to do any offsetting when it comes to vehicles? Do you get to choose? <laughs> I think you just offset. Yes. <laughs> what? So, some of it might have to be offset. For example, the fire trucks. I mean, you know, except that's municipal, but some element of it may end up being offset. Well, we can't say eliminate fossil fuel use if we're going to offset some of it. Yeah. That's, yeah that's, but that's after 2050. Eliminate or offset fossil fuel use by vehicles. 
that's fine if we want to do that if that's what if well, that's what the use, just use is. net zero net zero for fossil fuels <laughs> then we use the language if that totally changes it though because it says in this chapter that it's eliminate vehicle fossil fuel for people living in montpelier And it would have to be something along this this line. Make yeah. vehicle use net zero. Yeah, I was going to say something like so develop a net zero transportation fleet or something like that. I just, I'm not wanting to, I don't want to keep both sentences, but I'm just yeah. throwing in another way of saying eliminate or offset fossil fuel use. If we want to keep using net zero is make vehicle use net zero for residential commercial vehicles or something like that. We might need to say vehicle fuel. If somebody wants to get real technical, there's like. It, it should be fuel. Yeah. 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 Good point. For which which one? Make vehicle fuel use or fuel use. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, add, add fuel in there. Yeah. Can is there a verb net zero? Yeah, but the, but, the, but the, the net no. zero, <laughs> net zero speaks to carbon emissions, not fuel use. So it's to focus. Depends on your on, definition. To focus on fuel use. Uh, oh well, if we're only, I mean. I guess I don't know the definition of net zero then. If it, that is the case and we're talking, because like fuels have embodied, or sorry, cars will have embodied emissions. So if we're talking about those or if we're just talking about fuel, two different things. Well, the, the reduction of fossil, the reduction or elimination of fossil fuel use correlates to reduction in emissions. So, yes. But I think we just need to be clear that net zero speaks to emissions not to actual fuel use okay well they're, they're, well, related, they're related but they it speaks to a different yeah I think, well i think i think we're all good there but marcel does make a good point about the embodied emissions and that's kind of beyond the scope of our plan probably why don't we just make sure when we define net zero that it all makes sense after the fact so, so are we are we going are we going for the to use net zero is that what people want before yeah, I Mike think Mike's I think Mike, Mike's last uh, proposed definition was pretty clean. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. All right. So we have survived reducing the goals and strategies here. Well, aspirations and goals. <laughs> aspirations, goals. Aspirations and goals. Yes. Yeah. We wish so are we good? And did we make a final decision on net zero by 2030? From uh, yeah, I'm fine with either one of those. Now that we've gone through the goals, what do other people think? What are we talking about? The, the, the overall goal? We're talking about the, the short or long version the aspiration. aspiration. Do we want the short or long version of the aspiration? No. We want it to. We want the aspiration to be Montpelier will be a net zero city, or Montpelier will be a net zero city by twenty thirty for municipal operations and twenty fifty community wide. I like that one. I do too, because we we made our goals refer back to it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it. I think it does make more sense to use the longer one now. Everybody okay with that? Okay, so let's. Uh, we get to jump out of there and we got a couple minutes. Do we, Mike, would you rather us vote uh, the implementation strategy through before? Oh, yeah, if you guys sure. are willing to. I, <laughs> I don't think anybody's itching to come back and do this again. Um, so uh, is everyone okay with the, with the, uh, the modifications that Mike made. So we're voting on Mike's column J. Is that what you're saying? Uh, for we, yes, for well, this new aspiration, the longer aspiration, mm. uh, and the and then all and then rewriting or you know reorganizing is what it is. Reorganizing the uh, goals into what Mike has included in column J.
Yeah, I think that makes sense. So we, we have one aspiration now, is that right? Yeah. 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 And we have seven goals. You want to jump in and make that a motion, Marcella, or? Sure. Um, move to approve the short aspiration in line 15, column B, and the rewritten goals in column J. Okay, I'll just second for, that. Just, just for clarity, though, it's not the short version of the aspiration, it's the long one that's in line 15. A single single aspiration in line 15. Shorter than it was before, but not the shortest one we considered. Just the... Yes. I think it's well identified as B15. <laughs> it's, it is. That was, that was smart to say the line. Okay. Uh, who was the second? Ariane B. Okay. okay. Okay, so uh, we have a motion by Marcella and a second by Arion to approve of uh, a new single aspiration in line 15 of the template document um, and uh, new uh, newly stated organized goals in column J of the template. All those in favor of Marcella's motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Aspirations and goals down. Are we voting on the goals separately? The no, no, we voted on all of them. The goals, okay, the goals, the goals with, with the aspiration. Okay, fine. Uh, and so we have, we have eight minutes left. So I don't think that I don't think we have time to to give the chapter any kind of justice. Uh, uh, Marcella, just for clarification, it looked like you made some edits. Have you like fully edited the chapter language? No, I was gonna. Okay. No, I have not. Sorry about that. I will no, well, by next I week. Mean, okay, cool. Well, okay, so that's good. If you if you um, are able to do that for the next meeting, we can look yeah. at your, your version when we look and at it. To be clear, I'm working off of Barb's version. Okay. Oh, so okay. That will, I, I think that will be helpful too, because, you know, yeah. Might as well just have them all, yeah, in one place. Exa yeah. Okay, uh, so you're working off the one that is on the Google Drive that's separate. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we'll look at next time. Um, maybe Marcella and Barb uh, can walk us through it. Uh, and I think that this meeting will help inform you're editing anyway because we brought attention to the fact that we want to make sure net zero is very well defined. Yeah. Because we're relying on it. Right. So yeah, we're gonna have to make sure that's in there. Yeah, I'll look for it. Okay. And I'll populate the strategies so we can have those to discuss as well for the energy chapter now that we've got the goals done. Uh, Mike, what, what what were you thinking for uh, the the next um, aspirations and goals for us to look at? Uh, well, I think we've got the energy chapter for the next meeting. So um, let's just let's look at it optimistically and say we get through the chapter and have time. Uh, all right, um, that's somewhat that, up to you guys. That, that, you I can I can tell you the housing working group is done um and so we can send you what we have natural resources might be done but we're we haven't met yet but i think we're gonna but we'll have had one meeting before next time but i don't know that we'll be if there's one that's more done than natural resources that might be good so kirby should we be sending mike what we have so far no. after the last meeting you can yeah, put them on the you. drive <laughs> Actually, Ariane volunteered to put the transportation on the on the drive, right? Yeah, I mean, if you guys got it written separately, drag and drop it on. If you guys have it written as a separate document, that's fine. Um, I don't want you guys to spend a lot of time working on on 
like going in and trying to change and adding things onto into the Excel tables because you've got to go through and like the process we're doing right now. Um, yeah, we didn't we didn't do that. We have just a separate Word document that has it has the aspirations and goals written out and that they could be cut and pasted into the template, but they're not actually in the template. So we're going to ask Mike to do that. Well, I think I think Mike's want to do that as part of his process. Okay. Yep. Is that right, Mike? So, yeah, I mean, if you guys have them as, as Word documents, I think the easiest thing is just to drag and drop them onto the drive into the chapter section that it goes in. And then we can talk as a commission about, you know, all the, all the pieces kind of put together there. Or at least that's my thought. I mean, this is your process. So I'll send you the Word document. Um, but I, I cannot right now um, add it into the um, Google Drive. Okay? Nope, that's fine. Okay. That sounds good. Sounds like we have a plan. Uh, so again, from what I said before, I mean, I, I would like to quickly re revisit historic preservation when we have time sometime in the next few meetings um, to possibly add just a couple strategies. Um, there's still the arts and culture to be worked out. There's still land use to be worked out. So we have a few that are will be building from scratch sort of. Yeah, we have a, yeah, we have a couple of chapters we still have to do. I've just been trying, as I said, to populate the aspirations and goals so that way we can get those approved in, in meetings and then we can go through and you know in the meantime I can keep working on these remaining strategies you know we've, we've got the rest of community services um, I mean we did parks but we still have to do recreation senior center cemetery and those so I still have a bunch of ones to do there public safety is another one um, land use is a chapter that has to get done. And then we've got, those are the required ones that we have to do. And then we have some optional ones like arts and culture or governance or um, other things. I'm trying to focus on the required ones first um, and trying to get as much in here. So we've got opportunities to talk. So that it makes it easier for me to develop new ones if I know how we're all thinking where it's going. That sounds great. Uh, okay, so well done, everyone. That was a hard working meeting, I think. Uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? Yeah. I move to adjourn. Oh. <laughs> okay. Second. 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 Motion by, I, well, I heard a motion by Aaron and a second by Ariane. Okay. All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. Hi. 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 All right. See ya. See ya. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, thank you.